Hey guys, so today is a Vintage Chic Sense haul and this is my very first haul from her. I had joined her Facebook group page and kind of watched and lurked around there to see what other people were saying and that kind of thing. Um, one thing that she does is before she does a restock is she will put a list of all the scents that she has poured. So I went into it thinking, okay, I went on her website and I made a wish list and every scent that she had poured that I was interested in, I added to my wish list because people had said that you kind of have to be fast on her site. So I went ahead and I made my wish list and I thought when she had opened up that I would just go to my wish list and just add everything in to my cart and then check out. Well, apparently when she opens, she's got to load all of her scents into the website. So what happened is, is I got like a couple things in my cart and then all of a sudden I was like trying to add other things but they weren't uploaded yet. So while I was doing that, things started falling from my cart. So I was, um, I was kind of shocked by that because I just, I didn't know what to expect. So one thing that I would say if you're gonna order from her is try to pick like three or four key scents that you really wanna get and just get in and just get out. And you know, that's that. Okay, so anyways, let's just get into the haul. First up we have Saturday Evening Post. And I think I like her flower tarts the best. I think that's gonna be like my go-to. I'm not, I don't, I don't think I like clamshells in any wax to be honest. So Saturday Evening Post is Zucchini Bread and Vanilla Bean Noel. And I knew I was going to like this one, and I do. Mmm. That's just a really good blend. And that's the other thing about Kirby is she, she has some good blending skills. That's a winner. I need to go back for some more of that. That's a good one. Okay, next up is... Sunny Side of the Street. And Sunny Side of the Street is Lemon Custard buttery cake and coconut cream yep that's just a really nice bakery scent i like that okay this was a sample that she included this is jackie o will never go hungry again And that's, that's a blend of her Jackie O and I think Tara will never go hungry again. And that is marshmallow birthday cake, vanilla bean Noel. And then the Tara will never go hungry again has wild berry mousse, marshmallow, and zucchini bread. And this is a nice mix. Just a nice bakery scent. I love this. Yep, I could definitely get some more of that. Okay, and then another sample that she sent is La Dolce Vita. Yeah, I think that's a watermelon and pomegranate. Let me look here. La Dolce Vita, where are you? Oh, watermelon, pom pomegranate, and peach. I'm not really that much of a fruity person, so, but um, it's a nice blend. Pink Dorothy. Mm, I like that one. That one is um, pink sugar, strawberry white cake, and cotton candy. I'm not a big fan of like strawberry, so that's probably why I'm, I kind of have a little bit of reservation about that, but it's a good mix. I think if you like um, strawberry, then you would like that one. Okay, next up we have Purple Haze. I was really excited about this one because I heard a lot of people talk about it. Purple Haze is marshmallow, uh, let's see, wait a second, marshmallow jelly-filled zucchini donut. I think that's how she has it written down on her website. But this one, um, it smells a little strange on cold sniff, but I bet when this is warmed, I bet it's gonna smell amazing. I think jelly donuts are hard to um, I think jelly donuts are hard to get the 
the scent on cold sniff. Like I think you have to warm jelly donut scents to really get the full effect. But that one smells good. Okay, next up is a clam shell. Oh, this is also on Purple Haze. I am. Um, I'd heard so many good things about it, I decided to go ahead and just get another clamshell in it. And that's what it looks like. I don't know, I'm not feeling the clamshells. This one smells okay, but there was another one that um, you could kind of smell a little bit of the plastic smell coming from the clamshell, I think. So I think once you take it out and you um, put it in your warmer, it'll be okay. But when you're smelling it out of the clamshell, it's just like, you're not really sure. This is Tally Me Banana. Look at how cute that is. I love that. The yellow and the pink. That's a pretty contrast. And Tally Me Banana. Where are you? Uh, raspberry Guava Banana. This one's a little bit light to me. Definitely get the banana. That's like the dominant scent there is the banana for sure. I'll have to warm that and um, let you guys know. I plan on doing warm reviews of um, kind of like the people do like the uh, the weekly uh, meltdowns. So hopefully I can come back and give a better review of that. This is Tiki Volcano Bowl. Whoops. Dang. So there's the cute little charm. Tiki Volcano Bowl. It's a tropical fruit blend. It doesn't say what kind or anything. It just says tropical um, fruit blend. So that one, I, you know, I'm not really sure. This is my, the, this is why I went back for a second time and just kind of picked up what was left. So um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to feel about that, but we will see. Okay, next up is, I think this is called Happy Days. And Happy Days has apple mango tango and clean cotton. So pretty. Yep, and that's just your basic cleaning apple mango tango and the clean cotton. Yep, it's a nice it's a nice blend. I definitely have to warm that one and see. Okay, next up we have Jackie O. That is so pretty. Mine kind of got a little cracked. Actually, but that's okay. Jackie O. Where are you? Okay, here we go. Marshmallow birthday cake and vanilla bean Noel. Yeah, that one's good. That that one smells a little bit lighter to me. That's what I mean. I think in the clamshell that the scent is not as strong as in the roses, which is why I think I'm going to prefer the roses. Um, that one's just light. There's nothing wrong with a light scent either. I mean, some people don't want to be like totally overtaken by a scent, you know? Sometimes you just want something kind of light. And this one, oh my gosh, this one was like a huge surprise for me. Uh, I think it's called Violet. And that is a mix of... Dang it, you think I would have put these in order. Um, Violet Marshmallow Wafer. Oh my gosh. This one is really, really nice. It's not your typical bakery scent either, but you just get that, like the violet and then the, the wafer just kind of hits you after. Mmm, that one is good. I'm definitely going back for more of those. That's a very good blend. I think this is kind of unique too because I don't think I've ever smelled anything like this. Of course, I'm kind of new to wax, so that could be why, but love that one. And then last I have 1927, that's really cute too. 1927 is a mix of strawberry, pink sugar, and sugar milk. And I'm a big on um, pink sugar, but I don't, I don't know. I think it's the strawberry. There's that. Okay, and that is the end of my haul. Definitely check her out.